Hello everyone, my name is Appleguy, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Modded Survival. In between this video and the last one, I did a little bit of terrain work, so as you can see, this is the dock you all know and love, and I did a little bit of terraforming here to add a bit of a natural curved pathway up here to where the house is going to be, and also up here to where the, uh, the farm currently is. I just did the farming a little bit off camera, so we're going to go ahead and grab... Uh, I moved all the house, like, temporary stuff over here. We're gonna go ahead and get the potatoes smelting, though. Uh, where are the potatoes? Oh, they're in my inventory. There we go. Perfect. Today, we're going to uh, head into the nether and also do a little bit of house layout. So I want to go ahead and make sure of that. One thing I realized in between this video and the last one, however, though, is that we are going to need a place for enchanting. Which means that this room should be at least wide enough for an enchanting table. Which I think I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I can't make it actually. I don't have paper. Is there another alternative way to make paper? Uh, no. There is not. Just sugar cane. I haven't run into sugar cane yet at all. That's crazy. Um, okay. So I guess no, uh... No... No enchanting table now. But this is where the book is going to need to be, right? So this is like the back of the house. So it's books, blank, boom. So that has to be there. So then it has to be like that. Okay, great. So it has to be, was that? One, two, three, four, five wide. Okay, cool. So we can go over here and do, ow, how dare you? Here we go. I'm sort of just doing like, I think today, so the plan for today is to go into the nether. I think I should get that uh, out of the way first and foremost. We're going to be entering the nether. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. We're gonna be entering the nether today, but I wanna do like a small bit of house layout work so you guys get the general idea. We're not going to build the house today, uh, but we will begin working on it. I think slowly but surely will be the nice thing to do. So then this can connect just like this. Perfect. And I connect this as well. And so this is going to be like the entrance to the portal area, which is also like a backyard slash second entrance to the house. So uh, this is actually going to be right here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. So... Let me put this back while we're waiting for the food to cook so that we can take it into the nether with us. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Yeah. And just do a little bit of this planning here. But oh, why don't we also check the bounty board to see if there's any new bounties that are interesting to us. I might steal the bounty board from this uh, village if that's something I can do. Because this village sucks. <laughs> I think we've made that fairly clear, but this village is the worst. Uh, literally no bounties. Okay. So no, uh, no emeralds for us right now, unfortunately. Maybe some other time. But for now, we are stuck emeraldless. That's okay. We can at least teleport back to the house. All right, let's go ahead and keep this going. So we want to keep this pattern. And of course, it's going to look a lot better than it does right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There. It's going to look a lot better than it does right now. But this is mainly to give me a bit of a guide... See, for example, I need to fix... Ugh, yikes. This is gonna be bad. I don't really want to do this. I'm gonna have to terraform this section or curve the house. Um, we could do like a... Uh, no. We could do like a natural curve with the Oh, wait! No, I don't need to curve the house. I can just do support pillars. We'll do that instead. Yeah. How far is this gonna stick out, though? Kind of far-ish. Let's grab some more of this and turn these into planks. Just to see how bad this is going to be. Um, this isn't the worst. This is, I think this is actually relatively manageable. I can make that look good. I'm going to have to chop this tree down though, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll make it look nice with the supports. Okay. Yeah, cool. So that way... Yeah, that'll, that'll look nice. Okay. I'm not panicking at all. No siree. Not one bit. Alright, how many potatoes do we have? Almost all of them? That's plenty. Let's, let's go. Let's take some cobbled deep slate. Let's enter the nether. I'll fix that when we get back or maybe off camera. Here we go. Into the portal we go. Fingers crossed for a good nether spawn. I'm not sure what there really is to gain from the nether. We're in the brimstone caves right now. Okay, like I said, unfamiliar with the modded nether. Not sure. I think Oh the Biomes Will Go has a bit of a presence here. Um, 
I, I don't know anything else though. I don't know if silent gems or silent gear spawns anything here. I don't know what most of the blocks are going to be. But obviously, oh, lag for generating a new part of the world. That's to be expected. I don't have a sword anymore. That's un ungood. That's bad. Can we use quartz for silent gear? I wonder. Let's see. It is. We can. What tier is it? Uh, it's a, oh, I think it's a better actually. Okay, whoa, successful trip into the nether. Let's go ahead and go back now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, not much that I'm seeing that I'm interested in so far though, I'll tell you that much. Interesting. Okay, what mod is the brimstone from? This is from, oh, the biomes you'll go. Okay, cool. So this is, yeah, it's like a custom thing. I'm just gonna grab some. Um, Huh, we should really fortify the- oh, ow. That hurts. We should fortify the portal a little bit. It's honestly pretty, uh, pretty well, like, surrounded. But we should open it up a little bit. I hear a pigman. Here are several- hello? Why are you angry at me? I have done nothing to you. Joke's on you, sucker. Now you're in the overworld. Let's go ahead and expand this out a little bit, because we pretty much want to have a nice, safe landing area for the nether. So we'll do a little bit of work here. I guess we'll go back and make a Silent Gear sword as well, because we don't have a good sword yet. Um, we could also look at the Twilight Forest today, but I think the plan was mostly just nether and like housework. Um, I guess, yeah, if we want to go on an adventure, what we could do adventuring-wise is go find some sand somewhere. Because we're going to need glass, or I'm going to want glass, I guess I should say. And that's going to require us to get some sand. Okay, so I'm going to put up a little uh, barrier here now. So what this is going to serve as is just so that I don't fall when I enter. But what's good about the nether, of course, lava, we can get infinite, not infinite, but a near infinite supply of lava. Which will be useful for us. Interesting. Okay, let's, it'll be useful for us in the furnace is what I meant to say. Okay, let's compare a diamond. I have diamonds somewhere. So obviously more durable, more armor value, same enchantability, different charging values. This is a tier three. This is a tier two. What is iron? Iron is a tier two as well. Hmm. Okay. So let me... Is there a sword? A blueprint? There is a sword blueprint, but you need blueprint paper. We need to find paper, I guess. I guess we need to find paper. Let's find paper. Because I, I don't have a sword blueprint, do I? No, I don't. Okay. Well, let's... Yeah, let's go find some paper, I guess. Um, I'll just make... I guess a, an, like a standard iron sword in the meantime, and I'll convert it into a silent gear sword um, through this. Okay, great. So... Um, well, here's sand, but if we're looking specifically for sugar can there's a ruined portal there we could go for. Why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and hop off onto their boats and get to sailing with the cats. We can go on an adventure. Yeah, an adventure. Do you hear that adventuring music? What the heck? That sounds like the, the travel music from the Wind Waker, the Great Sea theme. From The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Wow, I can't believe I was able to identify that by ear alone. Like I mentioned, this is an exploration-based series, so it's always good to get out and explore. Speaking of which, thank you all for the massive support on Minecraft Modern Survival. It's always great to see you guys enjoying a series like this one. It's a ton of fun to make. Um, so make sure you guys keep hitting like and subscribe on the videos. And Uh-oh. Wait. I can't move. I can't. I can't move. I can't move until you hit like on the video. It's it's broken. My key. Listen, I'm pressing the I'm pressing all the keys. It's not doing anything. It's not it's not work. Oh, thank you. You press like. Thank you. Phew, that was crazy. Guys, I stole that bit from XQC on his Sky Factory uh, videos. So if if you hated that, blame him. Because I did not come up with that joke on my own. One singular bit.
This is gonna make us some glass. Here we are, just mining a bit of the beach. Always good. We've got some palm trees here as well. Not particularly concerned about palm trees at the moment. Mostly the aforementioned sand for glass and also sugarcane for sugarcane things. Paper. I don't really think sugar itself is too important, but could be at some point. Who knows? Who the heckle knows? But let's go ahead and work our way over that ruined nether portal. And then we can keep progressing. You know, it'd also be gosh darn swell if a guy like me could find a surface dungeon. We have a dungeon mod, and it it's just not... I haven't seen one yet. Granted, haven't searched too far, but like... Let's get, let's get a dungeon going. Huh, okay. Not necessarily the greatest of things. But there's some free obsidian, I guess, if I needed obsidian. I don't really need obsidian, but... I'll mine this one because I've already started. Ow. Okay. Swell. And also, let's see what mod this is from. This is a palm log from Oh the Biomes. It looks pretty good. It looks kind of similar to the other uh, kind of grayish uh, plank that we have. I'm just going to do a... Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see sugarcane. Great. Swell. That is... We are off to a good start. Cool. We'll grab these, head back, get those planted, um, and then I guess we can get silent gear, uh, swords. And then we'll go back into the nether, right? We've done our exploration. We'll go back into the nether and see what we can see. We need to do more mining too, though. See, the thing is, I really want to get, like, going on a mod. I would, like, maybe we just jump into the Twilight Forest. I don't know. The goal of the series, like I mentioned in episode one, which by the way, if you missed episode one, make sure to check the playlist linked in the description to learn more about the series. Uh, but TLDR, the series is uh, exploration and boss fighting based. So we're going to like fight all the bosses in the Twilight Forest and in the Blue Skies mod. Uh, but of course, we have to get there first. And bosses include like the Minecraft base game Wither and the Minecraft base game Elder Guardian. And also this guy you may have heard of him called the Ender Dragon. But I don't know the order. I don't want to finish the series with the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon is probably going to be one of the most anti-climactic boss fights ever. Because we will have modded gear. We'll probably just roast and toast. Like all in, all all cards on the table, we're probably just going to roast and toast him. Honestly. Um, but we'll cross the bridge when we get to it. Like I said, we're going to go make Silent Gear Sword. And then go back to the nether, grab some uh, buckets of lava, start smelting out this uh, sand or glass. I got the glass mod to work, by the way. I accidentally had the fabric one installed. Um, but as you can see, there's all different sorts of glass. There's like clear glass. That doesn't actually look like that. There's scratch glass. There's connecting gra gl grass glass. So lots of different types of glass that we can use. We're going to use a lot of glass in this structure, mostly panes because I like the texture variation. Um, but this is going to be a nice looking house. It's going to be great. If you didn't see the plan for the house in the previous video, make sure you check that video out. Uh, that'll be useful for you. Kind of know what we're going to be getting into here. But in general, it's going to be a, a nice, uh, like, pagoda kind of styled house. So it, it'll, it'll look nice. And it'll be very fitting with the red biome we're in. There's no need to scream. Gosh, this cat reminds me of my actual cat. He, he screams for no reason. Just stop screaming. It's okay, nameless cat. There's no need to shout. Everything's gonna be all right, okay? I promise. There we go. All right, see, and now we can get some muscle memory down for how we will get up to the house. A little inconvenient, maybe, but it's got a nice trajectory. All right, I'm gonna chop this down a little more, do payback. Uh, let's also just return to where we just were because I forgot to plant this. There we go. We'll plant it here. That should be enough to get started-ish. Um, and then this, we can turn it into tapes. Do a handful of paper, actually. I don't have any leather. Is there any, any alternative crafting recipe for a book? No, just leather. Absurd. We're gonna have to go find a cow as well. Um, but what we need is lapis to get blue dye. Maybe that much blue dye. Okay, and then we need the blueprint 
for the sword. Oh. Wait, do we want a katana? What are the different sword types? Wait. There's a dagger. Spam clicker's ally. Interesting. Do we want to use the katana? Let's let's pick. Oh my gosh, there's Paxels in this game? Wait, that's going to be massive too. A Paxel and a hammer. Whoa. A fishing rod too. Okay, wait, so, so a Paxel is a pickaxe, axe, and a shovel all combined into one. That's going to be massive to get. That's going to be super efficient. A dagger allows you to spam click. And then we also have the katana. All right, let's make one of each. Let's legitimately make like one of each. Okay, so let's make, let's just do, uh, it's, how much is it? How do you make the blueprint? Oh, it's four. Okay, let's just make a ton. Okay, great. And now let's do the dagger. Let's do the sword. Let's do the katana. And then we need more. Let's also go ahead and do the Paxel. Perfect. Okay. Let me toss all those things back in, literally. Here we go. And then I'll toss that in here. Okay, so this probably does like a teeny tiny little itty bitty minuscule quantity of damage. But it's, it's like full auto. So that's the advantage of that, obviously. Oh, um let's go get uh, let's go get our lava and then we can we can test things in the nether how about that let's go into the nether we'll test everything we need to test out it'll be swell super super good all right welcome to the brims brimstone caves and then if any enemies want to fight us we'll fight them actually i'm gonna pick out a fight because i want to test this dagger okay so you can spam click Okay, I don't think you can spam click, but I think it just has a really low recharge time. Okay, so... What is... I don't get the advantage of each. Let's... Um, what is this, by the way? Anthracite from Oh, the Biomes Will Go. By the way, the Paxel, game-changing. Okay, honestly, these all kind of feel the same. I don't notice a major difference between any one of them. Besides, like, maybe let's check, like, let's see if we can compare, like, attack time. Attack damage is 6, 5, 3. So the katana does more damage. The katana does more damage than a normal sword. But, what? Let's see what downsides it has. Because surely it has downsides. Let me switch to the dagger for this. The dagger feels fast. Okay. Attack speed, minus 2.6, minus 2.4, minus 1.3. Okay, so it's fast but weak, middle of the road, strong but slow. That's what that equates to. That's what that works out to. Um, okay, good to know. I mean, I honestly will probably just stick with like the standard sword because, I don't know, this is what I'm used to. Although the dagger's real nice for dealing with small things like this. Does the dagger also not have sweeping edge? No, the dagger does have sweeping edge. Hmm, I don't know. I might be a dagger kind of guy. I feel- I'm feeling like- like being a dagger- a dagger fellow. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys would like to see me use between the dagger, sword, and katana. Uh, because all of them seem like real darn good. I don't know if any of them have a particular upside or downside, but I could see myself liking them all. And then here we are using the Paxel. Like I said, the Paxel is a pickaxe, axe, and a shovel combined. So it's super, super useful. It's also like hammers and stuff. So we need to get into silent. We need to get into silent gear. I've been saying that for a long time. And I've been meaning it for a long time. But we, we need to get into silent gear. Because that's going to be like our first ticket out of whatever we've got going on. But let's get down to that lava. Um... It'd be nice if I could just dig a, a staircase. So let's start digging a staircase. And then we'll see how we go about curving the staircase or whatever. But the access to the lava is cool. We don't have like um, generators or anything in this mod. I know in some mod packs in the nether you want to get to um, 
get to the spot where you can do uh, like ender tanks to kind of port the lava and you can put it into like a generator of some kind. But the only thing we need here, the erupting inferno biome, that is crazy. The only thing we need the lava for here in our mod pack is for, uh, well, this isn't great. Where's the nearest, a oh, wall, there it is. Uh, we need lava just to supply furnace fuel. Okay, what can we do here? Okay, let's let's go this way with it then. Let me make sure we're all covered. A little bit of a high stakes adventure here, folks. All right, I think this tunnel taking us down to lava just about done if i wasn't so insist on using the same block for everything uh we'd be there already so let's go ahead and switch it up there we go perfect i don't think this is the right spot no this is where we want it okay boom 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 bang bing oh bah. okay perfect so now we have a little landing make a nice little safe room down here with uh with a roof uh there we go now it's safe little roofed off area not really particularly roofed this is fine this is safe enough great good and now we can scoop lava cool so that's that's our nether adventure we will eventually of course need to get like blazes and stuff but let's get our overworld mining done first and heck maybe we'll even check out the twilight forest before we get on to doing other stuff like that who the heck knows uh, let's take a quick sleep quick set of z's if you will and then uh, and then yeah i think we're gonna go ahead and end off the video with one final task let's go ahead and toss the lava and um there we go our coal and take a rest just let's let everything else kind of go with the flow there what we're gonna do to end off the video is start by mining up the grass here for our floor we can get the floor placed maybe in between this video and the next one I am not sure what I'll use for a floor, probably oak wood. Um, we've got plenty of oak wood, we've passed by a whole lot of oak trees. So we can handle and do the oak wood um, later. I'll do it probably off camera. And we'll also, you know, figure out what we wanna do with that, uh, the situation right here. And I'll chop this tree down. So a couple things for me to do off camera. I think next time we will probably do more mining. Just kind of build up a supply of things. I want to get more silent gems. If we go into here and we type at silent gems, this is all the ores, right? And we can go up. Ooh, if we're in the nether. Oh, it looks like we need to go into the nether to get the good stuff. Oh, and the end is even better stuff. It looks like the nether stuff is what we need. So I don't know, maybe we'll mine in the nether. I don't know. I want to get good gear and stuff and the house is the other priority so we'll maybe we'll do the house i don't know maybe we'll do it all it all needs to be done so we also need to find out how to get books so we're gonna have to go on a on a book adventure as well but basically oh i think oh it's not a hoe as well i was trying to right click and see if it was a hoe we we'll also could potentially get more into silent gear because there's that hammer as well the hammer if we look up the hammer 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 the hammer blueprint, this one says tunnel digger, which I think will mine like a three by three or something. There's a crushing hammer from blue skies. That's pretty pog jam. This is a prospector hammer or sniffer. Not sure what that is. That could be cool as well. So perhaps we'll check both those out in the next video for our mining expedition as well. I had potatoes. Where do they all go, man? I had like a ton of potatoes. I have no, no way I ate them all. Jeez, I don't know. I'm going to have to re like, watch back the footage and figure out where all these potatoes went. Uh, but yeah, lots of things we can explore related to mining next episode. So I think we'll hit the caves, whether it be the nether caves or the overworld caves. We'll hit the caves and sort of get going. We are, of course, always working towards our emerald goal to get the activator for the blue skies portal. We've got the twilight forest portal raring to go. And, you know, at the end of the day... The series is still just getting started, but boy, do we have a strong foundation on which we can build upon. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now. 
I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. And to friends about my channel, if you think they would enjoy it, it means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.